All right, y'all, it's the next day. I'm back with an update. I uh, finished the living room somewhat. <laughs> I still have to go up into the attic and get my uh, Halloween and Thanksgiving uh, decor. And I still have to, yeah, just try and get my house together because life's been a little rough the past <laughs> season and <laughs> the past few seasons. So I just wanted to show you. All right, so this is where I ended up putting the couch and I have my lone little jack-o'-lantern. Here is the walker. So even though my daughter doesn't actually get in the walker, I'm still gonna keep it because she still puts her dolls and her stuffed animals in it and she walks it all around the house. Like, I'm gonna keep it because she likes it. Um, I have my one lone chair here. And I have my mantelpiece along with my two little decor. I have my items. I got these from, uh, these from Kirkland's, these, um, faux, uh, foliage. I got this from Pier 1. Pier 1 no longer has, uh, brick and mortar stores. I used to work there actually. And I got these from a seller off of Emma, uh, Facebook Marketplace. And this, where did I get this from? Oh, Lord. Burlington, maybe I want to say. I don't know, maybe it was Pier 1. But anyway, I have this mantelpiece. It's looking mighty junky right now. That's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna start looking nice. Give me a minute. Got my wedding photo, some of my baby's things. I told you I'm a hoarder. I don't know what to do. These are from all these hollies. So my mom takes my daughter walking. They'll collect flowers and stuff and then we'll just put them up in the house. Honestly, y'all, when it comes to stuff like that, I, I don't care because that's science, that's nature, that's my child spending quality time with my mother, that's my mother teaching her history because back in the day, that's how my mother in South Carolina, when she grew up, that's how they would decorate their house for the holidays. They would actually go out and they would get pine cones, they would get hollies and they would put them around the house and they would have the fireplace. And yeah, she grew up in the South and that's what they would do. Um, I don't mind putting up pine cones and leaves on this. It's only a couple of weeks. You take the stuff, throw it in the trash, you keep it moving for the next season. Um, so like this, most of it has come down. I have to take the rest of it down and then I'm gonna go up into the attic and get the rest of my, um, my Thanksgiving, Halloween. And then when Christmas comes, I'll get my Christmas decor. But yeah, this mantle, this, um, this whole fireplace is usually a focal point for my decoration. You will see all of this, I promise you. Autumn leaves, Christmas trees will walk you through all of this. Promise you. My other chair, These a lot of this furniture came from Bob, Bob's, Bob's furniture. A little horsey. Here is the curio cabinet. So it has, I think, four. Okay. So in here, what I'm going to put... I have some of my grandmother's green depression glasses I'm going to put in here. Um, some of them I am giving away to a relative and um, some of it I am keeping. I have, my mom has uh, something called Copa del Monte or Copa del Monte or Copa del Monte. Uh, please forgive me if I'm mispronouncing it. Those of you who are antique uh, dealers or antique uh, getters, you know who I'm talking about. Copa del Monte. My mom has a lot of them, so some of them I am going to put in here and it's going to be nice. And uh, she has some black ballerinas, porcelain ballerinas that I'm going to put in here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not keeping any of her black porcelain dolls because I just don't I can't. I can't do it. I'm trying to keep some and get rid of some, but I can't. My grandmother's Bible I'm going to put in here, and I think we should be good. Um, here's my daughter's little officina I have set up for her. She loved it when she came home, so that brought me pure joy. It's her little desk. I got this desk off of Amazon. It's a uh, kid craft. My mom got her this um, Halloween jack-o'-lantern. You can actually put the candy in here so this is what she will be taking to Halloween a little pine cone skull I used to be really scared of skulls I used to think they were the devil <laughs> but then I went to Mexico I studied abroad and I no longer feel that way because I was I studied abroad during the fall so I was there to witness the day of the dead it's not about the devil it's not about 
nasty evilness like people make it out to be um this is hers her daddy bought her this and we have her puzzles um for those of you who drink a lot of coffee you can always transform coffee mugs into um crayon box and coloring book we have books this is an excellent book for those of you who are into teaching your children about uh, social consciousness and activism and um, the world. Uh, purchases from a, a black bookstore, ours, um, with ch children of all different um, complexions. Uh, what else? Just some books. Put this back. We have her blankie. We have uh, her pig to teach her. She learns about money. This is where we have stuffed animals. We have toys and more toys. I got rid of so many toys and I still have so many. This was, believe it or not, not this was the thing that I used to bathe her with. So for those of you who are wondering how to recycle stuff, she uses this as a play mat now. She sits on this. We sit together. She reads. It's all good. I'm not throwing that out. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, I'll be back. I'll show you all when I bring down my Thanksgiving stuff and my Halloween stuff. Um, I'm probably going to set the dining room table. I don't know. My little one likes to grab stuff off the table. So I don't know about setting the table. I may set a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> but I will be back. I hope you all have a blessed day. Rocking my Rockaway Glider shirt. Rockaway Glider, shout out. Rockaway Beach, New York. Yes. My dad was a New York City road runner. He was in the Rockaway Gliders running club. He was a long distance runner. So when I feel like I need some type of warmth or comfort, I'll throw this on. But anyway, you all have a beautiful day. Take care.